What's up, Deck Knight fans? We're back for our favorite five bourbons of the year. 2022. That's important. It is important. In a minute. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, top five. Whoop, whoop. No order, except for the last one. Last one will be our favorite. And you can probably guess what it is, because we say it all the time. So I'm just gonna grab and go. And since we have an empty Glen Karen, we're gonna go with this one and see if we can empty it. This is this. the Rabbit Hole Cave Hill. We Ooh. opened this and we very much enjoyed it. I think that this whole thing was drank in one night. It we, was. We enjoyed it the so night much. We made the video and we drank the whole thing and got drunk. Oh. I think we ended up on the lawn. Anyway, so uh, this was our first experience with Rabbit Hole. Oh, it didn't empty. And uh, well, I'll just well, pour it. It is now because I poured it on the counter. Uh, and it was just a try, you know, just to give it a go and see. I don't even know why we got it. I thought the bottle looked cool. I liked the rabbit on it and stuff. But we don't have any other rabbit holes, yeah, we, right? Yes, oh, we, do? we have the uh, high gold, which we need to get and another bottle not. of this because yeah. I enjoy it. A it was lot. more of a honey taste. Because it's got honey in it. Oh. Okay. It is seventy percent corn, percent malted wheat, ten percent malted barley, ten percent honey malted barley. Mm. So that's right. And he likes me drinking this one because it's heaven or rabbit hole is one of the least alcohol in it, right? No, it's ninety five proof. No. Yeah, 95 proof. Oh, what is everything else then? Uh, most Why do you always them, say go to that one? I don't. Oh. Uh, anywho, Lexi's not here, so we got to, it's empty. We put it down. Down, put so it I'm gonna down. So I'm going to do the put it down dance. Okay, she's not here. I got to do that for her. Yes, I'm silly. All right, so Cave Hill, really good. Uh, if you don't have never had it, go get it. Top five. Top five, not in any specific order. Correct. And because we would fight. No, yes, because it, it, we agreed on these top five. Because it's not my specific top five or her top five. This is our agreed top agreed. five. So, Cave Hill. Good stuff. Yeah, very much like it. All right, so. Next. Not in any Not in any order. particular. No. Nope. Well, just just not. Okay, you can say your your organization if you'd like. We're just gonna go in order, in the row. Weller Antique One O Seven. I very much enjoyed this. This was like more of a dessert bourbon, though. It's 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 wheat. It's a, it's the only wheat we have today. It was a sweeter. And then one. wheat is sweeter. Oh, is am I right on that? Yes, you are. Oh, well, it was more like I I didn't. You didn't need ice with it. Nope. And it I was, typically want yeah, you, it on the rocks. Yeah, he always wants it a little cold. And we could, we sat here and no ice, no nothing. It was very delicious. Um, delicious. And then we compared it with the Special Reserve, which we also enjoyed. And this one's definitely better. Def definitely. So. Um, very much enjoyed. And again, not a cork. No, it is a cork. Oh, it is? What? Do, hmm, okay. Weller, Antique 107. Not easy to find. No, no, not at all. Next <sighs> is 19. Next, oh, not in any order. 1910. Old Forester, 1910, Whiskey Row Series. Good stuff, hard to find. Not hard allocated. To find here. Not allocated, but it should be, because it's never on the shelf. Allocated for East Tennessee. Yeah, definitely. So, um, you see this one's not open because this is, I think, our third, third or fourth. fourth bottle. Yeah, we bought it's our go to. Whenever we uh, found out from the Brown Foreman route that they were going to steal from Knoxville to feed Nashville and uh, Louisville, yeah, he was in the we bought two store bottles. And we were like, okay, we better grab some. And uh, he wasn't lying or just trying to get us to buy bottles because I haven't seen Well, he wasn't working. No, he wasn't. But we saw 1920. We have seen very limited 1920 and all kinds of 18. Yeah, whatever the years only one they you are. can't find is 1910. The 1897 and the 1860, they're all over the place. 1920, me here and there. 1910, I think I've seen like one or two bottles in the past two months. And somebody um, commented below to try the Statesman, right? Yes, they and have. we still have not tried it, so we have to. No, do that. And it's over there. Yeah, we need to do like all the. Forces. We have an old four Statesman. We have an old Forest single barrel. 
We have a good amount of Old Forester. Yeah, we like and Old Forester. And we do like Old Forester. We need to go to the, to the distillery. Anyway, Old Forester 1910. If you haven't tried it, try it. If you can find it. Next, and this is another distillery we need to go to because oh, this yeah. is just down and the street. it's down the street. Down the street. Let's go down. Can I call in? Fuck it. Let's go. Probably not. It's already 12. I got to go to work in the morning. Boo. Chattanooga Whiskey, bottled in bond. This sucker was a surprise. Oh, that we liked it? Oh, yeah. I was expecting it to be like moose piss. I don't know why. Just because Chattanooga, you know, to me, Chattanooga is like dump water town. No, it's not. It's better than Knoxville. No. There's so much more to do. Anyway, when you think of Chattanooga, if you live in LA, what do you think? You ever been there? It's a cool town. But your first thought is bump, Bumpkin Town. I don't I've drove think through so. it a lot. <laughs> I don't think anyway, so. I was expecting this not to be good. And it was, I hope this is even in the shot where we have it sitting in the, in the camera oh, shot. Oh, yeah. Anywho, it's good stuff. I like it. Uh, she really likes it. I really like it. And uh, we, um, this is our second bottle. I bought it to make But bottled and bond. We haven't tried any of the other ones. No, they have like, I, I don't even know. They have like five of they them. Have, I wouldn't know if it's just five. It might even be more. I don't know, but, but this is have, the only one we tried because, again, it's hard to go to a different one. It's hard to buy another bottle when you have all these back here you haven't opened yet. But this but we one's, keep op- we this keep one's, buying. This one's that good. It's you know you got your go tos that you you just you don't feel like you know rating it or doing a video with it. You just want to chill and have a drink. This is one of those. So I wanted we wanted to have one on the comment shelf. below. Should we keep buying or should we drink the ones that we've never opened? That we I, say we I gotta open them. Know what you guys are gonna say. Someone's going to tell me to drink the old granddad 114 because they've said it like 15 times. Okay, so we open it. I know. But Go we, get it. We keep opening other shit. We got stuff right here to drink. We'll, we might open it. But I see that everywhere. I know. And people say it's so good. Oh. But there's other old granddads. Better than the 114, my number one? The 114 is not always available. Mm-hmm. It's kind of here and hit and miss. Now, this is the overall number one. For you too? For both of us. So, drum roll. You know what it is. You've heard it. You've seen it. I say it. It's the best. Wild turkey rare breed. That's what's in the glass. Nope, that's Caneville. But I don't like wild turkey. Uh, Well, you don't like the 101. Mm -mm, And she's not really a fan of the Long Branch. No. But um, rare breed, though. You don't dislike Russell's Reserve. I don't remember Russell's Reserve. Russell's Reserve and a 10 year and a single barrel. Single barrel is definitely better than the 10 year. One we haven't tried is Russell's Reserve 13. I'm probably sure you've heard me say that a bunch. Yeah, we're trying to find it. Tomorrow I'm going to sit in line for it. Hopefully we can get it. But rare breed, man, it is the stuff. Um, it is. I like anything Wild Turkey makes. My, um, you know, when we talk about it, I talk about it. I really like the Blantons and I really like Ancient Age. But I like Wild Turkey as a product overall better than anything else. You know, and he's tried to trick me, and we'll play games like, okay, let's drink some thing, and he'll go and we'll test each other what we can, sorry, what we, we'll test each other, and we nose it and see if we can guess what's on our bar without looking, and I do not like engine age. I don't care if I see the bottle or not. I know I don't like it. It's good. Anyway, wild turkey, rare breed, barrel proof, 58% alcohol, 116 proof. Yum. It's, it's the stuff, man. Goodness in I don't, a bottle. I don't know how many times we're going to have to say it. But don't drink it quickly. Yes, yeah, so if, you, if you don't shoot this. I don't understand why anybody would shoot bourbon. This is a sipper. Bourbon's made well, to be sipped. Well, all bourbons are sippers. I know. Oh, that's why I said all bourbons are made oh. to be sipped. You see people in movies are like, ooh. No, they... I mean, you can do what you want, drink but it how you want, but you just. I don't. have done it. Yeah, and it's like every time you're like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Yeah, but so I can see why people do it. It's a quick fix. And sometimes we need that. Anyway, if you can see it, Rabbit Hole Cave Hill, Weller Antique 107, Old Forester 1910, Chattanooga Whiskey Bottled and Bond, and Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Anything? All right, guys.
That's our top five for the year. Hide.